Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Dan Sullivan speaking. Um, I happen to be the RVP for Conducive Technologies. Um, and welcome to uh, the webinar today. Um, we're here to, to talk about how to make SQL go much faster than it may be going for you already by using our patented IO reduction software. And folks, we spared no expense today uh, in bringing some guests along with us. Uh, from Conducive, um, I have Gary Kwan, uh, otherwise known as GQ. Uh, GQ is our Senior Vice President of Product Strategy. And uh, because of his many, many, many years here with Conducive, um, he certainly keeps me honest in any technical discussion. GQ, you there? I am here, Dan, and that many, many years kind of makes me sound old here, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, don't let Dan fool you. He's very technical, too, but I'll, I'll be here for any deep dive questions, and glad to be on here with you, Dan. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, GQ, for taking the time. And also, uh, most importantly, too, uh, we have our co-sponsors of the webinar, uh, Joe Ortiz and Rich Klein from Microsystems Support Center. Um, I'm not sure if Rich was able to uh, to get in on the uh, the technical side of the briefing. So, Rich, did you make it in? Uh, Dan, this is Joe. Uh, Rich is uh, having some technical difficulties. Uh, he's on the road, and uh, I don't know if he'll actually be joining. Fair enough. So. There you go, folks. The other key member of the Microsystem Support Center team is Joe Ortiz. And Joe's joined, joined us. He's the Director of Technical Support. You may know Joe already and, and may know him well. So we're happy to, Joe, to have you along with us. So a couple of administrative things. Uh, first off, there is a Q&A box um, on the screen. And we really invite any and all of your questions uh, during this uh, during the webinar. No question's a bad one. Um, we've been running and doing these previously. We get a lot of good questions, a lot of interaction, uh, which is what uh, we hope we can get here today. So please the uh, the Q and A box, chat box, and also uh, make it for all presenters uh, when you put your questions in. And also for attending today. Uh, for those that are new customers to Conducive or, or not a Conducive customer, we'll be sending out an NFR copy, a not-for-resale copy, of our Velocity server license, uh, which we'll, again, talk about here during the presentation. So hang in there, and uh, you'll get your, your free NFR copy uh, after the uh, webinar has been completed. Uh, so with that, Joe, I want to turn it over to you and have you talk a little bit about Microsystem Support Center, if you would. Yeah, thanks a lot, Dan. Appreciate it. And GQ, thank you for joining us as well. And everybody uh, who's attending the webinar, thank you for taking the time. So Microsystem Support Corp. Uh, C founded in 1991. So um, I have like 28 years experience uh, with our company. We've uh, gone through a lot of changes over the years, as you might imagine. You know, from building our own systems, custom systems, white box systems, uh, moved on into network storage. Uh, NetApp was a, we're one of the first NetApp resellers in the country um, back in 98, 99. And we've done a lot of work with NetApp over the years and continued down the path of network storage solutions and what really brought us uh, together conducive is uh, back in 2012-13, you know, SSDs came became prominent, and then all the the big thing was high, you know, uh, high IOPS and low latency. And as Dan and GQ are going to outline here, uh, SSD is not the only way to do that. Uh, conducive makes a wonderful product here that uh, will speed up SQL and is a good uh, addition to, you know, high-end storage systems that makes them run faster. And um, so that's where we are now as a company, and uh, security is another step for us going forward. As everybody knows, security is in everybody's uh, mind these days. So, so that's it for Microsystems. So uh, 
take it away, Dan. Thank you for giving me the mic for a second. Appreciate it. Absolutely, Joe, and thank you, and thank you and Rich for uh, your continued support. And folks, uh, MSSC is a premier reseller uh, of our patented technology. Um, they're a very trusted uh, partner of ours, and we're we're very uh, very uh, proud uh, to go to go to market with MSSC. Um, so they've been in business since 1991. Joe, I'm going to say we beat you a little bit uh, because Conducive has been in business for 38 years. Uh, we're the 12th oldest software company in the world. And I made GQ feel old, I guess, at the beginning of this uh, because GQ has been here close to since its inception. How many years, GQ? Oh, something like, oh, 34, 35 years. I think they forgot. <laughs> Well, I guess that that's back when you could you could hire folks under sixteen, so it's great to, great to have <laughs> he, he joined as a youngster. That's right. <laughs> he did. Absolutely. But again, we uh you may know us as the Disc Keeper Corporation. Um we sold over hundred million copies of, of Disc Keeper. We the we the, we were the world's preeminent disc defragmentation software offering. Um, Microsoft actually OEM'd our technology and put it into Windows. Uh, we didn't give them all the secret sauce, but um, back in 2012, we rebranded the company to be Conducive Technologies because the world changed. Virtualization entered into the picture. You no longer defragged a SAN or an SSD. So GQ and his team respun our defragmentation software to now become two light filter drivers that sit in the Windows OS and actually prevent, one, one of the drivers prevents fragmentation from occurring, so no longer defrag, but actually fragmentation prevention. And in addition, we'll speak about it, a patented DRAM caching engine, which uses idle DRAM to cache those reads that it learns to be uh, performance degrading. So very intelligent, very smart. It's so smart that it's OEM by nine of the 10 top OEMs in the world. You can see a few here, HP, Dell, Lenovo. They OEM this patented ca uh, caching engine because it's, it's much more efficient and smarter than actually what they've even developed. And you wouldn't see our name since they OEM it. They put it in their own name. Because of, of those two filter drivers and reducing at least 30% of I.O. to back-end storage, that reduction results, our customers are seeing anywhere from 50 to 300% application performance improvement on their existing hardware, even, and as Joe alluded to, even all flash environments. It's pretty amazing what those two filter drivers do. Because of what we do, Gartner named us a cool vendor, said we should be installed in every virtualized initiative. We're a close partner with Microsoft because of the work we do in Windows. We're a close partner with VMware because of the work we do in virtualized environments. And most recently, uh, we certified under the Microsoft SQL Server I.O. reliability certification. Uh, pretty impressive. But GQ, you want to chat a little bit about that? Sure, Dan. And, you know, Microsoft has certain certifications to make sure that third-party software is fully compatible with their components, in this case, SQL Server. Now, this was a very stringent testing, but also we had to go against a board of SQL Server experts to get this certification. I'm very proud of this. And I have to note that we're the only software uh, solution that has a certification, but we're in good company with some hardware vendors like HP, Dell, and EMC. So this is a nice accolade for our product, Dan. Thanks. Sure is, GQ, and congratulations on that. And as he mentioned, the, we're the only software company so far that's certified under that. So you can rest assured we're safe to be put into your precious SQL environment. So really, that's kind of everything I want to say about Conducive. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about what we've seen here over the past years. We, we do surveys every year uh, across a, a whole host of IT professionals. And, you know, one of the questions we had is, you know, around SQL and and running your applications, you know, are they running slower due to, you know, any issues you may be having relative to I.O.? And 28% of the folks, and this number has been growing every year, 
said that absolutely, you know, we've got we've got uh, problems here relative to uh, performance in MS SQL. So that's an interesting statistic. And then if we did a we look at a word map of all of the responses that we get from those surveys, you can see the one application that really stands out uh, amongst all the others that you see in the background there. So we are a very uh, a sweet spot. As, I'm sorry, SQL is a real sweet spot for us. As you can see, seven out of 10 of our new customers buy our software to boost their SQL environments. And so what is it, you know, what's the, what's the problem there and, and, and how do we resolve it? Well, this is really a depiction of the most efficient I.O. environment possible. What you'd like to see and what, and what is, is most reliable is the having large contiguous writes emanating out of the Windows OS, hitting your hypervisor, moving down to storage, and back again. Most efficient environment possible. And if it happened to be a physical environment, pretend the hypervisor is just your storage on, in your server. But again, most efficient environment possible. But what happens as soon as you virtualize or as soon as you hear you, you even find Windows on a physical server? Well, those large contiguous writes want to get broken up into small random fragments. And then those random fragments get further randomized by what Gartner's called the I.O. blender effect. And by definition, the I.O. blender effect degrades storage performance and increases latency. So these two inefficiencies enter in to make your environment go much slower than it could if it happened to have these nice, large, contiguous writes in them. So think of it this way. If you're writing a gigabyte of data here, it might take 100,000 I.O.s. And if you were to write a gigabyte of data here, it might only take 50 or 60,000 IOs. So, final way to look at it, we take half the cars off of the Long Island Expressway at rush hour, we pack the remaining cars full of people, and we put them in an HOV lane that works. So I hope you all could appreciate that kind of a little symbology there. So, what is it we do for SQL? As I mentioned, large contiguous writes for more payload with every, you know, I.O. operation that's, that's in place. We'll talk about the DRAM caching engine that, that drives incredible performance improvements in SQL and other applications, virtualization we spoke about, et cetera. Any and all heavy I.O. Uh, intensive Microsoft applications benefit from our DRAM caching. G2 and his team developed a dashboard to actually show you what the software is doing in your environment. Um, we actually trademarked the set it and forget it moniker years ago. We beat the Ronco chicken guy to that. Uh, but because our software runs in the background, every, all the operations are fully automated, so there's really nothing for you to do. Uh, but so people would say, well, gee, if everything's running great. I wonder what the software is doing and GQ and his team developed this dashboard. And folks, we also guarantee to solve your toughest performance problems, no harm, no foul, or money back. So pretty, pretty dramatic what it is our software can do. What I thought GQ now is maybe you could talk a little bit about the two patented cat, uh, engines that you, you and your team developed and what they can do for customers. Thanks, Dan. I'm gonna get a little techie here. Uh, when Microsoft Windows uh, file system, when a file gets created or extended, the file system doesn't know how big that file creation or extend is going to be. So this is all happening on the logical level on the Windows system. So it looks just for the next allocation to put that file creation or extension. Well, if that ex allocation is not big enough, it has to go find another allocation and so forth and so forth. Well, each of those allocations is another I.O. So rather than writing that file creation or extension in one nice sequential I.O., it does it in a whole bunch of random I.O.s. And what this costs you is not only 
extra work on the system doing all those extra IOs, you're also not taking advantage of your storage system. Because if you ever look at your storage when you buy it, they always give you two benchmarks. And this is for hard drives or SSDs. They give you random I.O. benchmarks and sequential. And you'll notice the sequential always outperform the random. So if we can enforce nice sequential I.O., you're not only getting the best performance from the system and the network, you're also getting the best performance of the storage. And that's what we're doing here. We're actually, we actually monitor the system in the background. And we know when certain files or applications or file types get created, we understand what how big they're going to be. And we're, we feed that intelligence back to the file system. So now that when the file system writes out that data, it can now be a nice sequential I.O. And I like to, I know you gave the carpool analogy, Dan. I'm going to give another one here. If you want to carry a gallon of water from one place to another, do you do it with 100 small Dixie cups or just take one big gallon bucket and do it all at one time? And that's what we're helping the system do. And that's how we prevent uh, fragmentation from occurring, Dan. And that's our Great. intel, Thanks. right? Thanks, GQ. And how about the other one, telememory? Yep. And that, you know, the other one helps with the writes, but what about the reads? And that's our telememory, our caching technology. If we can cache your data and, and satisfy it right there at the operating system, we just prevent it from having to go through the network down to your storage, get satisfied. And, you know, you may have SSDs down there, and they may do caching down there, but if we can do it on the memory right there, we just save that old, all that travel time. And uh, memory, the DRAM, is... 10 to 15 times faster than flash. So you can see that even improves the SSDs there. Now, caching is not new, so what's new? Uh, what's unique about us? As Dan said, 9 out of the top 10 PC OEMs use our technology, and there's a reason for it. One is we're dynamic in how we use the memory. You don't have to go and allocate memory to our product. We're just going to use what's available and not being used by the system. And if any user or system process comes in and says, I need that memory, we automatically give it up. So there's never any memory contention issue. The next uniqueness about us that makes us, you know, we have advantage over all the other caching is how we decide what to put and keep in cache for the best uh, performance gains. In the background, we're monitoring what data is getting hit the most. And using that data, we determine what, would, what data would get hit by cache the most. And then second, we also look at what data is going to give you the best performance gains. We found out that the little small random IOs, if we can cache those and get rid of those, and I like to call those busy IOs, those will give you the best performance gains. And that's how we're, our Intel memory technology is giving you back the best performance gains here. And go to Dan's carpool analogy, what we're basically doing here is we're allowing those people to work from home so they don't have to travel to work and waste that time. They can get right <laughs> there at the file system. How's that, Dan? I love it. That's great. Well done. All and right. I, and I know that I know that folks in this area can appreciate the being able to work from home. So that's great. Thanks. <laughs> Good stuff. And and folks, again, I just want to remind you: if you have any questions, please do put them in the Q and A box because um, we'll take care of those here at the end of the webinar. Or if something else pops up, we'll do that uh, when when we see them. So please please make sure to do that. So thanks, GQ, for taking us through the both you know the Intellerite technology and also our IntelliMemory uh, technology. Appreciate that. And those folks combined are what give you the 30% plus I/O reduction to your backend storage, resulting in those 
either application performance improvements or, or, or folks the ability to add more applications to your existing environment without having to add more expensive hardware. So pretty cool what the software can do. I may have mentioned earlier, you know, we have thousands of customers around the world using, using our technology. We have case studies and other examples on our website. This is just a sample of a few of the folks, you know, of, of the benefits that they've seen. If you go down to the lower left here, Bell Mobility, which is the Verizon of Canada, look at this. By just installing our software, they reduce their I.O. to their SAN by 61%. I said 30 before. 61% for 3x faster, faster SQL queries. In the middle, ASL Marketing, which actually is an MSSC customer, they, their batch imports dropped from 27 hours to 12 hours, a 15-hour reduction just by installing our software. And upper right there, Creative Office, their response times for SQL, I mean, 90% faster. Folks, if, if I told you those numbers without maybe at least sharing some names behind it, you know, you'd wonder, you know, if I was really telling you the truth or not. But it's pretty amazing what all of these, these folks have experienced. And we even have more. And I'm not going to go through all of these. You can read them uh, you know, faster than I can talk about them. But I mentioned the top University of Illinois. Uh, they have put in an all brand new environment, Dell 730 servers, 768 gigabytes of RAM, and an all brand new flash compellent backend. So they're pretty happy. Um, and this is in their facilities and services group. It's not the big main data center of the, of the university, but a, a, a fairly important one. It manages all the, the work orders and the card swipes of the 50,000 students across the university. They're a disk keeper customer. They said, hey, we'll try your product for virtualized environments, Velocity. And this is the result of a before and after uh, benchmark that they did by, before installing Velocity and after on this all its brand new hardware. So before, this one uh, database application took four and a half hours to process and generated 13.9 million IOs uh, to their backend storage. 72 hours later, after installing Velocity, that four and a half hours went to one and a half hours. The 13.9 IOs to the back storage went to 2.7 million IOs and if you look to the left, we processed about a half a terabyte more data in that hour and 30 minutes. So just an amazing story about what our software can do for folks. So again, you know, they're all on our website, um, but at the end of the day too, what really matters is, you know, what can we do in your environment? So hope we're gonna get to how we can help you there in just a minute here. BQ, I wondered if you could talk to the people about the dashboard that you and your team built and what it helps them to see. Thanks, Dan. And, you know, a lot of users saying, what is this, well, what's this product doing for me? So we developed this dashboard to show you how many reads and write IOs are getting eliminated. Now, when I say eliminated, it's getting eliminated from having to travel down to the storage to get satisfied. As I said, you know, read IOs, if we can cache them, we prevent them from having to go down to storage. And that's what this dashboard is showing. You know, in this case, we eliminated close to 10 million IOs, with 64% of those being reads and 32% being writes. But what does that actually mean? For you as a user. Well, we know that, you know, being as a filter driver there, we know the how much time it takes to satisfy those IOs. So we know the latency we're saving by having uh, eliminating those IOs, and we calculate this storage IO time being saved on your system by uh, uh, eliminating those IOs. So that's what this dashboard is showing you. Now, this is just on a system, as it says, last three weeks. You can do it for the last week. You can see it from when it was installed on your system. And we've, you know, on other systems that have been on there for a while, we've saved days 
of I.O. time back to the user. And what does that mean for you as a user? Well, if we save you that time, that means performance increases on your applications. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dan. For sure. So, Bob, you know, the big question. So how do I guarantee 2x faster SQL performance? Well, you know, first, and really, install our software. Uh, that's number one. And then number two, three, and four, if you will, here, you can see in front of you, one, add more DRAM if, if possible. Uh, because with, because of the, it's a read intensive SQL environment, uh, you will have hundreds of thousands, millions read I.O. are those small, random, degrading I.O. that you, you talked about before. And our intelligent caching engine will put those into DRAM. By the way, DRAM is 10 to 15 times faster than Flash. And so if we can uh, support that application right out of DRAM, you'll see dramatic increases in performance improvement. The next is one of Microsoft's best practices, actually, and that's making sure that you cap SQL's max memory so that, and, mag, and cap it appropriately so you leave some room both for the OS and for our software to take advantage of that DRAM. And while it may seem counterintuitive, um, I've seen every single customer that has done that in their system using our software has seen, you know, bigger benefits than had they left it there. Uh, as it was previously. So by taking some away from SQL does not, and putting and allowing us to use DRAM uh, can actually speed up the entire environment. You know, and finally, take a look at the dashboard that GQ just showed you. Uh, you know, if we're not, you know, offloading at least 30 to 50% of IO, then possibly adding more uh, memory could solve the problem. Any other comments, GQ, you'd like to make here? Dan, the only thing I'd like to say, you know, to point out is capping SQL. SQL is not very intelligent on using memory. What it does is it will just try to load all its databases into memory, even though some of those databases or parts of it do not even get accessed. So if you can cap SQL to just leave us a little bit of that memory, so we can use it, you'll see great gains. Uh, we had an outside lab do a test for us, and uh, by capping it and just giving us, I think in their test, it was just four gigabytes, they saw a transaction rate increase by about 61 or 62%. So it's just better use of that memory for better intelligent caching that we provide, Dan. Get rid of those busy IOs. So absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, but absolutely, and it works. So folks, what are the next steps here? Well, as I mentioned, if you're new to Conducive, uh, you'll be receiving a, a free NFR copy, not for resale copy, of our Velocity Server first server software. It's a $525 uh, value uh, that we'll be sending to you. And it is so simple to install. One of the, the little secret we've been hiding from you all along is that GQ and his so it is last uh, developed the, the enhancement so there is no longer a reboot required to install our software. So that's correct. No reboot required to install. It just takes minutes to install the software. It's actually the longest time it takes in the whole install process is to download the software, and then it's a few clicks, it's up and running, everything is automated, nothing for you to do except go take a look at the dashboard in a few days to see the benefits and or hopefully you had some benchmarks before you installed the software to measure the performance improvements against. That really would demonstrate the before and after. Having said that, we are also very happy, both MSSC and myself, we're more than happy to provide you with, with what we what we what our other licensing model is, which is a host-based license, and that host license really covers all the VMs that would sit on on a host. Uh, and the reason we like to do that 
is because while you can optimize, a, let's say there are 10 VMs on a host, and you optimize one, two, or four VMs, you really have six other VMs that are unoptimized. They're creating all that random I.O. you saw before, and they actually take away from the performance enhancements and improvements you're getting with our software on those optimized VMs. So we're happy to let you try a host license for free uh, because, again, what's really important, heck with all the examples, is what can it do in my environment? So you'll be getting the NFR after the, after the, the, the uh, webinar here. GQ, do we have any questions from the audience? Hey, Dan, we do have a few questions out there, but I do want to point out, you know, you, you mentioned the availability of the trialware so they could put it on all the VMs on that host. And I just want to mention that because I have seen from other companies by putting it on all the VMs on that host get even better gains. Because even though you may have one or two that are very intensive, the others are still eating away the bandwidth within that, you know, network there. And by uh, getting rid of that noisy I.O. over there frees up that bandwidth for the other systems. So uh, uh, it's, it's good to put on your, you know, most intensive systems, but it's even better to put on all the systems. So thanks, Dan. And oh, thank you. How about the question? You know, one, I have somebody here saying, what about physical systems? You, you're talking about all the virtual systems there. And uh, Velocity here can be installed on both virtual and physical systems. And those, you know, those bottlenecks, those I.O. bottlenecks that we talked about before, they occur on the physical systems too. So good questions. Uh, oh, another person asked, what about the safety of your caching. What happens if the system actually has a power down? And that's another good question. Uh, safety, data integrity are, is the number one goal for us. And our caching is a read-only caching. And what that means is the data that we have in cache is already on your storage or disk. So if the power goes down, it doesn't matter because that data is already on your disk, fully safe there. Now, here's one for you, Dan. Uh, uh -oh. how, is, how is this product licensed? Well, great question. Thanks, GQ. Um, so as I mentioned, um, you'll be getting um, a single uh, Velocity server license. Uh, so that's a per VM um, license. Uh, to install. So we have the, either a per VM licensing model or, as I mentioned, that host-based licensing model, which covers all of the VMs uh, on a particular host. You've heard both from me and GQ why that's really the best practice is to put it on all the VMs on that host because you know, any and all can be performance degrading. Uh, so those, those two models, the host model, the break-even is at seven VMs. So if you have seven or more VMs on a host, the, the host model is, is more advantageous from you from a financial uh, perspective. So, uh, so either way, I think you will see, though, that, uh, you know, we're, for what we can accomplish from a performance standpoint, from an I.O. reduction standpoint, we're so economical, it's, it's truly uh, quite stunning. So thanks, GQ. Any thanks, others? Dan. I got a couple more questions I see out there. One is, is this installed on the hypervisor or the client systems? Uh, this is just installed on the client systems. And the reason why we do that is this is where the IOs are getting originated, on those client systems running Windows. So if we can optimize it right there where they're occurring, we're getting the best performance gains. And the last one that I see here is, does it need to be installed on all VMs? And no, it does not. It's not required. You can just install it on just the ones that you 
uh, see that you need the biggest performance gains back on your systems. But as I indicated before, it's it's better to install it on all the systems. Of course, when you buy a host license, it doesn't cost you anymore to install it on all the other systems. So get the performance best performance gain. Uh, that's it on the questions, Dan. But that's great questions. So, Great yep. question. You know, thanks. Appreciate if, it. If any answers come up later, just send them in, and we'll get those answered for you. Thanks, Dan. But thank you, GQ. So, folks, thank you for taking the time. I hope you found it beneficial today. Joe, any closing comments? No, uh, just Dan and uh, GQ, great job as always. And uh, for the folks that uh, took the time out of their busy day, thank you very much for attending. I hope uh, you heard something that uh, you find intriguing and Look forward to uh, hearing back uh, the results from your NFRs when you install them and uh, take it out for a test drive. That's great. Thanks, Joe. And again, folks, no questions, a bad one, even working through the install. If you want a host license, just reach back to us and we'll be, we'll be there to, to work with you. Look forward to it. Folks, thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Appreciate thanks, your time. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Take care now.